Hi everyone, James back here with another video of uh, my uh, B9 robot build. Uh, today's video is going to be about what I'm doing for the uh, lights in the uh, brain. Um, as most of you know, if you've been watching my videos, I'm trying to make a fairly advanced robot with a lot of capabilities uh, in it. And uh, that is also what I'm trying to do with the lights um, where I can. And the brain is one area where I think I can come up with some uh, pretty neat uh, lighting. So uh, first of all, this is a, um, the brain. This, this is uh, one from uh, uh, Craig uh, Ram Ram Rembrandt. I never can pronounce his name right, but um, one of our vendors um, makes a great brain. This is, this is absolutely fantastic. It comes, this is how it actually comes from him. Um, highly recommend everything he does. He's everything I bought from him has been fantastic. Um, anyway, this is uh, his his version of the brain. It's uh, already primed, ready for uh, painting. Uh, it comes with a um, stainless steel polished uh, top, so it's really cool. Um, so in it, um, most people just put the standard lights in, find some old style incandescents that flash. Um, heat-based flashers. Uh, some people um, put uh, LEDs in and, and uh, put up a circuit board to, to randomly uh, flash those lights. Um, and I can't I, I can't think of the gentleman's name on our club site that um, supplies a card for that. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually have um, uh, each individually light um, or LED is going to be a um, uh, uh, controllable. What I'm using is what they call um, uh, individually addressable LEDs. So basically it's a string of LEDs um, that you can control and this is basically what they look like. Um, and I guess I gotta get the end of it here to show you a little bit better. Um, so this is, there's several types of these out uh, on the market. You can find them just about anywhere. Amazon, a whole bunch of different places. Um, but each one of these LEDs, this one here happens to have um, already wired up. You buy a, actually individual LEDs if you want to and solder them up. But this one's already wired up. Um, and each end of individual LED can be controlled uh, in brightness and color and, and everything. So it's not um, like your typical strip in which you set the color and all the LEDs are that way. Um, this one's each individual one. This strip I bought here um, holds 50. Um, I don't need that many. I can cut it and, and down and use them other ones somewhere else. But basically, we're going to line the uh, uh, inside of the brain with these LEDs. Now, to do that, I need a, uh, an easy way of mounting these. And obviously, we don't want them that far apart. Um, so I'm going to you know, move them closer together um, so they look better in there. And I've done that. Um, Looking at, at the old way of doing it with incandescents and looking at uh, um, people who've done the LEDs and try to figure out about how many LEDs are in there. And I figured uh, using LEDs would be, at least for what I think came out, was would be good as about 23 LEDs all the way around here. And that includes the two that would light up the eyes. Um, eyes being these um, sections here, um, considered the eyes area. So. In total, I got 23 um, of those, I think, if I remember, if I counted right. And so to mount those, I uh, designed a 3D uh, mounting plate uh, that you can see here. Um, so it's basically got uh, a hole for the uh, cam that runs the finger lights. So the cam can go up through, and then I've got holes to mount this that basically line up with the holes in the brain. And um, so then, and then I've got uh, out here on the ends places for the LEDs for the uh, eyes, and so basically that's just going to drop um, right in here, like so, and then it'll mount in there and be able to hold all the LEDs. So that's what that's going to be like. Um, and then I'll mount each individual LED right on the front here. 
So it'll be pretty much mounted right there. And I'll just take some cable ties. I've got little holes in there. I don't know if you can see the holes or not. Um, where I can run the cable ties through and, and basically strap that down. And then I'll just, you know, run to the next one and so on and so forth. Um, so that's how I'm going to mount it. So uh, I'm going to step away and mount this in here or mount the LEDs on here and come back and show you that. All right, so we're back. Um, got all the LEDs put into the uh, plate. So here's what it looks like now. Uh, you can see the LEDs mounted there. And got the wiring all squared away. Um, so a little, little, little backstory on this. Um, so I designed this initially thinking I was going to use um, individual LEDs that I had to wire up, solder and wire up, and I would have a short um, piece of wire going between the two, right? Um, but my soldering skills are rather pathetic, um, and each one of these... Uh, I don't think you can, well, let me get you see if you can see this. I don't know if you can see it up close or not, but um, basically each one of these. Let's see if I can get this in focus. There we go. Each one of these has got six wire connections, as you can see there. Um, very tiny wire connections. Um, so I proceeded to solder four LEDs together and then test them, and I had one working. That was after about three hours worth of soldering. <laughs> to do four LEDs, and I decided that just wasn't worth my, my time. It was just gonna be a disaster. So that's why I bought these ones that are already wired up. Now, if you decide to go this way, um, there are different brands of these, and there is one brand that has uh, just two inches of wire between each one. Um, and that actually would be much better. Uh, the reason I didn't go with that one is that brand only has 20 LEDs, and I need 27. I, I recounted, by the way, there's 27 LEDs on this thing. Um, and so I would have to buy two strips of them. One strip was about 50% higher in price than this strip, which has 50 on it. Now I cut the extras off, but it originally came with 50. So I decided to go the cheaper route, but it may be better to go the more expensive route by two sets of 20s with a lot shorter wire in between. You wouldn't have so much wire clutter here. However, there's really nothing else that goes in here. This is pretty much it. Um, I'll need to make sure these wires don't come in contact with the cam um, that goes here. Um, but for the most part, um, uh, I think it came out all right. So, um, so there it is. So now the big question is, did I break any of the leads while I was connecting all these up? And this is the one downside to using these type of LEDs is there's a data wire and it basically sends data down the line of what each LED is. So it basically takes a block of data off for itself and then passes the rest of the data to the next one, takes its block of data off, passes on to the next one. Um, but if you get something messed up in, in one of these, if you messed up the, the um, microprocessor that's in there, or the contacts, then you're not going to get the data feed to the next one. So if one breaks here, further down the line, none of them, from that point on, none of them work. So hopefully I didn't mess up any of them. It's testing as I put this together. So we're, you know, hopefully they all worked out. So now I'm going to go in the other room uh, where I've got the computer, uh, the microprocessor that programs all this and the power supply, and we'll go hook it up and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've got it hooked up. 
um, to an Adreno um, microprocessor. That's what I'm going to use. That's what I programmed uh, or used to program these lights. Um, and uh, so I got the power on, so all I do is just basically plug in the Arduino and it should start running. And hopefully they all work. Now, my program has got it so they randomly come on and off. So I don't expect them all to be on right away, uh, except for the initial startup. Um, but I hope every one of them works. Uh, so this is basically the front. So what I've done um, to... Uh, uh, show you how I can individually control the lights. I've made the, the uh, eyes red and they're just staying on solid red and the rest of them are randomly coming on and off. Now I can easily change the speed that they come on and off and and do all sorts of things. They're programmable. I basically can do anything I want with it. With my change, just changing the software a little bit. So that side looks good. It looks like they're all running on there. Alright, they're all running there. Oops, guess I'll make sure I get the picture in so you can see it. I don't know, I'm sitting there watching the lights and seeing if they're all working or not. And let me go look at this side. And these are not working, but I know why. Um, so this right down here is the end of the string. And as I had mentioned earlier in the video, I thought there was 23. There's 27. I'm off by it. So I don't have any data going to these last ones. And... Um, they are whatever setting they were before. Um, and I was messing around with a full string, so I got this one looks like a little different color. That one's off, the other one's green. So I got to do some adjustment on the uh, um, program. But I know it's working because the last one's lit up. It's all green, uh, but it's lit up. Um, so everything's working fine. I just need to modify the program some. So. That's my uh, lights for the brain. Again, I can adjust it and make it do you know all sorts of cool things, but uh, for right now, it's just a testing and and kind of running in what I would be a normal mode, except the eyes are red right now. But um, now, a lot of you are probably asking, why in the world would you go through that much trouble when you just put blue LEDs in and be done with it? Um, again, I'm trying to make it so I can do all sorts of things that were different than the original robot. We have that capability, so I'm trying to to, to uh, expand on these capabilities. And so, for example, uh, what I could do, instead of just having blue lights go on and off, uh, on the 4th of July, I could have red, white, and blue lights going on. Uh, Halloween, I could do orange and red. Christmas time, I could do, you know, red, green, and blue. Um, if the robot, uh, for some reason, I've got something set up where it's having uh, electrical problems and and just going nuts as a, you know, its personality, something goes on, he's going crazy or excited, I could brighten everything up or dim everything down. There's all sorts of things I can do as a program, uh, whereas if I just had flashing LEDs and it, that were one color, would be very limited. Um, so anyway... Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I still got to put it in the brain, make sure everything fits, and, and uh, put the um, diffuser in the brain, and put the eyes in, and all that. Um, and I'll, I'll I'll follow up with a video when that's uh, all done. So, thanks for watching.